Hey you guys, we're doing something just a little bit different today. I'm filming this one on my new old new camera my Canon 80D and I haven't really been using this camera much to do a lot of my own videos I've been using my cell phone so this is the camera rig that I've been using since the birth of my channel pretty much I started with the iPhone 7 Plus this one is the iPhone 10s Max um, and the little lens you see on here this is from a company called moment it just changes the iPhone lens to a wider angle um, but this is what I've been filming on on a regular and I'm gonna be filming a van tour today. I'm actually filming two different van tours and I thought we would run the Canon camera for the very first time on its own dedicated video. And the reason why I'm doing this as a behind the scenes one and not an actual like, like proper video is I'm not too sure how this footage is gonna turn out. So I've been experimenting and playing around with it, trying to figure out all this ISO setting stuff and I just can't seem to wrap my head around it. So today is gonna to be our first experiment but I'm filming a van tour with this one today. And the van I'm filming is right over there. A little secret that I do inside of here just to, uh, cause if I ever have footage on my camera and I wanna start a new uh, project, I always just simply take a picture of my hand. So now when I look at my footage, every time I see an image like that one there, I know it's, it's the start of a new project. Okay, it's chilly out here. Let's go get this van tour filmed. We'll take a few pictures of you first, just okay. for a thumbnail. Yep. We'll do that first because I always forget about it. So okay. afterwards, I'm a thumbnail. <laughs> uh. Okay. Maybe we'll show the shot with you just sitting on the door well. Okay. Because of the window side, I just it'd be nice to get you to go outside and do this, but we're we're gonna do it here. And then what I'm gonna do is like you know when if you if you talk about what you did on the outside, yep. I'll just go to shots of that over top of what you're saying. Okay. Right. So then we can just kind of the video needs to be at least 10 minutes long. So don't yep. be shy That's about okay. sharing stories. Okay. Don't be shy about oh, rambling on. Oh <laughs> Oh boy. So and it was free, so I went and picked it up took it to my nephew's place who was going to be doing the uh, help me build out the cupboards because he's a carpenter and he's got the big tools the big equipment and the saw and everything else for doing that dropped it off there and picked up some birch plywood and went out and gave him an idea of what I wanted I just finished uh, the van tour with her. It was really great. She was super fun. 
had a great story to share. I'm going to be excited to share that van tour with you. Um, anyway, I just got an email from the other couple and I'm about to drive there. They're about, about a half an hour from where I am now and uh, gonna go there, get that video done. Right now I'm starving and I'm not sure how these shots are turning out. Um, right now we're filming in AV mode, which is, shot looks okay. Uh, filming in AV mode, which is kind of like a partially automatic mode. So it does take care of some of the things for me so I don't have to sweat and worry about it. I would be running an automatic mode because I just don't want to fuss with things on the camera right now. But in automatic mode, I can't use my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus microphone. So, which is great about it because here we can capture a lot better audio. You guys, are we a little too close? I always forget about that. That I can actually like twist this outward so you guys are not obnoxiously right up my snout <laughs> okay so we're gonna head to um port coquitlam right now and uh, meet that other couple at home depot i'm cold and look at the size of this camera rig i'm gonna point it at the look at this look at that thing that's hardcore <laughs> all right guys on the road we go this shot is actually looking not too bad i'm I'm actually quite happy. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my lens over there. I have a little flip out screen on the side of this thing. I don't know. So far, yeah. Yeah. I'm not exactly pumped about the shot this is getting, but we'll see what it looks like in post, though. Tell me, guys, is this a bad shot? <laughs> okay. We'll have some fun with it beforehand, anyway, before we dive into it. It gets less weird when you have a chance to talk with somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you very first meet somebody and they're like, okay, bam, and it's yeah, like, it's like, hey, how are you? <laughs> and it's like, okay, this is a bit weird. All right, so hopefully this uh, this new camera here is like looking okay. Does that look all right to you? See, I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm still trying to get used to this camera. And so far, I've been disappointed with the image out of here. Oh, really? Is yeah. The whole thing's new? Yeah, I got it from a, a subscriber of mine. She bought it brand new, she never used it. She bought a Sprinter van, bought the camera to start the channel, and then she never ended up starting van life because her job offered her an international position which got her flying. So she sold me this for 750 bucks. But I've been, sorry guys. <laughs> I've been filming on my iPhone. Oh, all your videos are on Every, iPhone. Everything I've ever filmed has been on my iPhone. So yeah. now that I have this, yes. I've been having a hard time to transition because this, doesn't, it's not always a perfect shot. You got to yeah. think that shot out. Where this one, it's just it's it's in in focus every yeah. time, everywhere you go. So anyway, guys, so we're still we're still attempting this uh, this behind the scenes thing today. <laughs> we got like multiple cameras everywhere on the go. So when it comes to filming van tours of people, um, not everybody's comfortable on camera. Not everybody can do what I'm doing with like a huge camera in my hand and not give a crap what anybody else is thinking. Um, so usually what I do with van tours is just like you spend some time with them and the camera and they'll figure it out. Like I think a lot of times when people film van tours, can you guys hear me okay? It's super windy. They rush right into shoving the camera in their face and then it gets awkward, it gets weird. Um, like I've even had another uh, friend of mine who has a van tour channel. Um, I did van tours with the same people he did afterwards and he's messaged me. He's like, dude, how'd you get them to be so funny on camera? He goes, they were so like like quiet with me. I'm like, I don't know, dude. Um, all right, guys, so we're gonna prop you guys up here and get this van tour filmed. It's a beautiful day. It is super windy out. Is the shot looking all right? Well, it looks good to me. I'd be excited if this all worked out for me. Oh, camera goes the other way. <laughs> all right, it looks, it looks pretty good.
perfect. Ah, I just missed the shot. Yes, it that's right, Snoopy. It's good enough, though. It's all right. All right, so I'm just going to get some B-roll of just the van. Yeah. Do you want the door to shut? Yeah. And then, uh, then you guys can just, like, intro the shot. Are you guys falling over over here? This thing's like falling <laughs> over. All right, stay there. Are you guys good? Tell you what, we'll give you the camera. You film me doing that. Okay. Is it already recording? It's just recording. We're just, I'm just doing it behind the scenes while we're doing the whole, because people don't get to see that side of yeah. things ever. Everybody, no gimbal, just my hand every time. <laughs> a lot of people ask that. A lot of people are like, so you use a gimbal? I'm like, no, handheld. Like, and I don't do the slow motion. I don't do nothing. No? Just, like a, just with the shots, the shots. Shit. That's it. iPhones are pretty handy, I guess. It's a sweet little lens too. Oh, it's amazing. It changes like the whole phone. It's just a good shot that one, right? These little tripods are pretty sweet. Little Jobies? Yeah, just the way I, you can hold the camera so much better. Like we have a camera similar to this and I don't have the tripod, so it's really hard getting like... Yeah, they're a little uncomfortable sometimes, but they're good if you want to clamp it on a tree and yeah. get that, or clamp it on the door. super quick intro and then just say yeah and just kind of mention like briefly what you live in so whatever come check out our house that's it okay anytime guys right. i'm michael i'm stephanie and uh, this, this is jasmine, jasmine. <laughs> and uh we live in our gmc vandera and yeah come check it out <laughs> all right let's do the shot one more time no, just because just because the outside noise can we get some like volume yeah you guys yeah just because they're slamming yeah. doors yeah. and right. <laughs> welcome to real, real life here. Give her. Okay, I'm Michael. I'm Stephanie. This uh, is Jasmine. This is our GMC Vendera that we live in. And uh, come check it out. All right, so I got all the footage here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, uh, but see my little handprint right there? That's what I used to separate my footage. So I know from this image here, all the way down to my next handprint is one van tour. So we're gonna go through here, create a new album. I'm gonna do Weekender, van tour. And we're just going to import that footage. <laughs> Sounds like gunshots out there, but it's a garbage truck. <laughs> Filming van tours with people are always a beautiful experience for me because when I'm out there with my camera in hand, as soon as I put my camera in front of somebody, the whole thing becomes very raw and very real because a lot of people don't know what to do when that lens hits in front of their face, they become a little bit more vulnerable. Do you know what I mean? Like they're already a little bit nervous because I'm there sometimes, some people don't care, but some people do get nervous because I'm already there because they see me on YouTube and now they see me in person. And then they got that sort of thing going on. And then once the camera goes in front of them, some people just shy away from everything. They end up becoming a little bit more calmer and closed. So I think sometimes, 
um, just being fun at the beginning and just having some chats and some conversation really opens things up a little bit. Cruzy's playing with his toy down there. Really opens things up a little bit and no, and I try to let them know that that they just gotta be them. Ignore the camera, talk to me, talk to the wall, whatever you want that makes you feel comfortable, that you don't have to look at the camera lens. Um, because a lot of people see this and then they get scared thinking like, okay, because from the camera lens, you know, becomes judgment and people seeing your face as an appearance and they just, a lot of people have that little mindset that like, what are people gonna think about me? I mean, what if I say something stupid? You know, where, you know, I always try to make them, you know, calm. I'm like, guys, just be real. Let's just do this. Let's just have some fun. Let's do this. But I love being a part of that raw process because I know the feelings that are stirring within them. And for me, I get a little bit of a rush and excitement uh, being a part of that. Um, I think that's just a part of being a filmmaker, if you want to call me a filmmaker. Um, it just makes, it's really, really, really cool. Um... So both of these van tours I did today, rock stars, total freaking rock stars. Uh, both did very well. They did a great job at putting out their raw, real personality. They had some fun. They laughed. Um, probably one of the two most fun van tours I filmed in a very long time. One of those things that's like, wow, this was a damn good work day for me. And um, just feel honored sometimes that... I'm actually doing this for a living, that I'm out here filming people, meeting great people, and sharing their life stories with you guys. I get a lot of fulfillment from that. So now offloading the footage into my computer and getting the chance to edit this stuff excites me because then I get to relive that moment in the edit and try to portray that message in the best I can by adding music to create that feeling, to create that mood. Um, it's a super fun part of everything for me and uh, filmmaking. Anyway, a little bit of talk about my camera real quick, just in case some people are into that kind of stuff. Um, this one here today was filmed on my new Canon 80D. So this camera came out four or five years ago, whatever it was. I got the camera used from a girl in Vancouver for 750 bucks. She included a couple of lenses. There's um, a 50 mil and a 10 to 18 millimeter. This is the lens that I filmed on all day today was this one. Um, the reason why I grabbed this one is because it's a wide angle, so it gets a super wide shot. But I've been really disappointed with the image quality coming out of the videos that I have shot. So I have like actual video footage that I've thrown out because I wasn't happy with what this camera captured. And it might be the lens because I know the lens that's in front of the camera makes such a big difference. And when I look at some of like all the YouTubers that are actually using this camera on a daily and the image quality is beautiful, they're also using a $2,000 lens, which I is not in my budget. So like the lenses that are here, these things are only like a hundred or $200 a piece. That's it, right? Where the those big proper pro glass ones, they're like 2000. Um, so what I might do, because right now I am not happy with the quality. Believe it or not, this image looks great. Um, and this is the lens that I don't use. This is the 18 to 55 mil, because this is as wide as it gets. When I'm vlogging, I like, the, the, the new camera point was to get a different angle. This one captures my cell phone angle. So it goes from here to being zoomed in. But the quality is, Pretty damn clear. Damn. Look at that. See, and I'm really enjoying what this image looks like. So I think it might be the lenses that I have. So I might go to a place in Vancouver that rents lenses and go rent myself a $2,000 lens for the day and see if that captures the image that my eyes want to see out of my videos. Do you know what I mean? Because that's why I went with another camera besides shooting with my cell phone, it's because my eyes want more from my content. My iPhone films two ways, one way technically, but you got the regular lens and then the wide angle lens I put on. So even with the new Apple phones, it's got the multiple lens, it's still the same thing. You got the iPhone shot and then you got your super wide shot. Where having a proper camera um, allows you to get like 
focused front images with blurred back images so you can get more of a cinematic feel when it comes to me out there filming my beautiful outdoor shots. So that was the reason for me wanting a another camera. Um, I didn't want the Canon ADD. I wanted a Sony mirrorless camera. But the Canon ADD came up 750 bucks. I figured it's a great starter, but I expected more out of the image quality. Do you know what I mean? Like I expected this thing to at least capture what my cell phone captures within reason anyway. Um, and have more fun lens options. But so far I haven't been happy with the one lens I really wanted to be happy with, which was the 10 to 18 millimeter. This one looks, look at the image over there. Hold on. I'm looking at my screen. Looks pretty damn clear. Maybe I got a run and gun with just the basic cheap, super, super cheap kit lens. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to get some of this footage and stuff um, laid out and kind of start to get my edits laid out for these. I uh, got some work to do, so I was, I don't want to take you guys into this side of the realm because when I get my headphones on, um, I get into the zone. So what I might do one day in the future, um, I might do a full edit on a video on camera so you guys can watch the entire two or three hour process of me putting an entire video together. I know it may be a long dragged out video. Some people might love it. Some people might hate it. But at least then you guys will get to see what I do on the full blown edit side. And I know I've featured a little things here and there on my channel um, with some tidbits of how I do it. I did, a, I did an editing video like two years ago, but I might do one um, now because I'm getting a little bit faster with my edits. Like the more and more I use the software on a daily basis, the more it's just become an extension of me and it's a little bit easier just to kind of put together like the videos that used to take me five hours are now taking me three and the videos that used to take me three hours are now taking me one so um it's pretty great now that you I become a little bit more efficient anyway i could talk your ear off about um the my side of youtube the stuff that you guys don't see behind the scenes but we're gonna let you guys go for now and i hope that I know this shot looks pretty good. I hope that the rest of this footage turned out somewhat okay anyway. I really didn't pay attention to this camera a lot. I literally hit record and walked away. Um, but it was super good that on the last van tour, the gentleman ran around and filmed me, which was super rad. It's nice to have a second hand. Um, I really wish my channel was big enough that I could have a crew. Woo! That'd be so fun. All right, you guys. See you later. Peace out.